Today, let's talk about how much tokusatsu actors get paid. Although actor fees and payments are never usually disclosed, Fumika Shimizu revealed how much she was paid by her agency, Lepro Entertainment. The revelation of her salary prompted a discussion of what was considered a fair wage for actors making the debut. Actors are paid something called an actor's fee, which is first deposited to the agency. The agency would then subtract their cut of the payment called an agency fee, as well as other taxes, before distributing the remaining sum into the actor's bank account. Legally, agencies state that they will take anywhere from 10 to 15% of the actor fee, but that is not the case most of the time. Agencies tend to take more than that. Back in 2017, Shimizu released a book called I Will Say Everything. In this book, she talked about what it was like to work on Kamen Rider Forze and how much she was paid. When you're cast as one of the main characters in a series like Kamen Rider or Super Sentai, you are required to arrive on set at roughly 4 a.m and you don't get to go home until the scheduled scenes are finished. On top of that, you work most days in a month, so you really don't have much free time. To help accommodate their strict schedule, Toei does offer free lodging at a dorm near the studio for actors. Despite the accommodations, Shimizu decided to stay at her parents' place in order to maximize her earnings because of how little the pay was. She wouldn't have to worry about food expenses. Her wage was only 50,000 yen a month which was an average of about $600 in 2011, not exactly a livable wage. The topic of Shimizu's salary on Kamen Rider Forze was discussed on TV by Yoki Kawada, a famous singer and personality in Japan. She said that when she made her debut, she only made about 30,000 yen a month. She also added that what Shimizu made is a typical salary for debut actors. Wada's statement was further backed up by Shinobu Sakagami, Another actor who began his career at a very young age and is known for hosting a lot of variety shows. He said that what Shimizu earned was a typical wage for debut actors and that those who appear in common writer shows are no different. Therefore, we can assume most tokusatsu actors are paid the rate for debut roles, which is around 50,000 yen. Minimum wage in Japan is 902 yen. Therefore, if one worked at least 40 hours a week for a month, you would make 144,000 320 yen a month in gross, more than double of what a tokusatsu actor makes playing the lead of a tokusatsu series. As for the suit actors in tokusatsu, they make a much more livable wage. In an Excite interview with Eitoku, a popular suit actor in the tokusatsu world alongside Seiji Takaiwa, gave us a hint about what he makes and according to him, quite a lot. Although he didn't state a precise number about how much he makes, he did say this, TV staff make about 5 million yen a year which is roughly $47,000. Therefore, we can assume Eitoku and possibly Seiji Takaiwa make around that much or even more. Now that we have an idea of the base rates most debut actors make, let's see how much one would make if they become a little more famous. After Shimizu appeared in Kamen Rider Forze, she began to appear in more prominent films and television shows, and her monthly pay steadily increased. When she appeared in the 2015 drama Mare, her monthly salary was 120,000 yen, approximately $1,100. It wasn't that much more, but shortly after appearing in that NHK drama, her career took off and she became a highly demanded actress. In 2016, her total take home was 10 million yen, which is approximately $95,000, which is a huge increase in her salary. However, there are men who speculate that Shimizu should actually have earned way more than that, considering just how demanded she is. Some of her work in 2016 involved being the main host for Niji Iro Jin, a popular weekly variety show. In addition to that, she was cast in about 5 television dramas and 3 movies that were scheduled to be released in 2017, one of which was the Tokyo Ghoul live action film. Again, this is just a short list of what Shimizu was involved in back in 2016, not a comprehensive list. So how much should Shimizu have made in one year? Let's take a look at another actor. Ryo Karato, who appeared in the Kamen Rider Agito movie Kamen Rider Agito Project G4 as Shiro Mizuki, revealed in an interview with Lidor that he made 100 million yen a month. Not a year, a month. Which is about $950,000. His schedule of the year he was paid that much monthly consisted of 4 dramas and 20 commercials. Like Shimizu, he was an actor that was high in demand. However, Shimizu's salary was nowhere near this amount despite having a similar work schedule in 2016. Some speculate that her agency took most of her earnings, which is highly possible. Since this isn't the first time LePro Entertainment was called out on this, Renna Nonen, another former member of LePro Entertainment, was still being paid the debut rate long after her debut. 
she was only paid 50,000 yen for starring in the NHK drama Amachan. Even after her contract expired in 2016, the agency insisted that she couldn't work under her own name, so she chose a new one, Non. Despite these stories of unfair wages, we're still surprised people still sign on with Le Pro Entertainment. Anyway, so to reiterate, most to star in tokusatsu dramas are paid at the debut rate of around 50,000 yen a month. The TV staff have a yearly salary of 5 million yen which includes suit actors. Actors can possibly make about 100 million yen a month, depending on the kinds of media they are involved in and how many, as long as their agencies don't take their money. Come to think of it, Sogo did mention the low wage in one of the Kamen Rider GO supplementary episodes. I'm pretty sure that was a cry for help. And that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, consider supporting us on Patreon. We'll leave the link below.